Hey guys, today we'll show you how you can download the data from website to Excel and you can refresh it you know uh, intermittently or or you can refresh it with a manual click of a button. All right, let's get started. So first of all, you position your cursor in the cell target cell then go to data tab and click on the web from web and now you need the url and how you get the url is just copy it from uh, from a website so for this exercise i prefer the yahoo finance website and i want to see what are the stocks that gain today the most so i have this url copy it go back to excel and then paste it here click ok it's gonna establish the connection it's thinking uh, while it is thinking uh, I'm gonna just tell you that when you have the connection you can uh, you can uh, refresh the, the table uh, with click or or uh, you can automatically uh, get it refreshed by changing the settings um, say for example you want to refresh it every one minute you can also do that I'll show you quickly uh, so uh, the once it is uh, connected then it'll give you multiple tables here so you see table view and web view i prefer table view you know uh you click on the table to see which one is giving you the expected uh table you want so i think this is the table i want and then uh click on that table and click load now it's thinking and loading the data it generated a separate sheet in new sheet it will put the data there all right now the data has been imported from the website and you can see there are different symbols for the shares and the name of the company the price and the change change percent and so on now you want to refresh the data to see how the price is changing through the day and what is the current price at the moment you are refreshing so uh, refreshing can be done two ways one is manually manually to ma do manually you go to the data tab here and then click the refresh all button it will refresh it it has been refreshed already so we didn't see the change okay just now refreshed uh, one thing I don't like by the default import is it, it changes the a percentage format to a decimal point so what I'm gonna do is I select all this uh, data and change it to percentage so go to home tab click on the percentage under the number uh, section and then I want one decimal point after uh, the decimal so click on the increase decimal point button once that gives you this okay that's uh, changing the format and now let's go back to refreshing the data so we already showed you how you do the manual refreshing the automatic refreshing as can also be done and you do it this way so expand by clicking the little down arrow and go to connection properties this gives you this uh, pop-up uh, in this pop-up you see refresh every checkbox here check box uh, check mark the checkbox and then delete the default minutes which is 60 to 1 I don't know if you can make it smaller than that no no it does not allow you all right enable first uh, so there are some other uh, options here refresh data when opening the file you may want it or may not want it remove data from the external data range before saving the workbook I uh, Want to keep it blank enable fast data load maybe i i want it because i want fast i like to be fast thank you um so let's go ahead and click ok 
so the settings are done so every one minute it will refresh by itself you just see it has been refreshed now so that's how you get the data from website and get it refreshed every one minute uh, thank you for watching the video and i wish you a happy and healthy life have a nice day